Oh, I missed that. Oh, you tell people to scream and they scream. I love it. It's a good thing. so powerful. Now, you can't talk about Rock on TRL without mentioning Korn. Korn was like the first rock band to really take over. And when boy bands and, and young pop star to rule the roost, you represented for rock. Uh, especially Got the Life. That was like the first video we ever That's retired, the first one right? you did return, yeah. So what did that mean to you? What did that TRL fan sport mean to Korn back in the day? Oh, back in the day. It's just, I don't know. It's, it's crazy. Um, every time we came here, having so many fans come out, we used to put female blasts up. And the amazing amount of fans that show up. Yeah. And you just it. gestured with your arm and they screamed. Yeah. That's got to feel good. It was now, awesome time. Not, not to accentuate the negative, but your videos, and especially early, seem to land at number three or number two, just behind NSYNC and the Backstreet Boys. Show's almost over now. You can be honest with us. How frustrating was that for you guys? I don't think it was really frustrating because we were a rock band. We never really were in competition with right. any of the pop acts or anything. I think it was frustrating for our fans. Right. Because they felt like they had this group where we had to get us up to one or two. But for us, it was, we were oh, happy people, to be on there. People got hot under the collar about that. I know. It was, it was fun. Case in point, cool. actually, let's, uh, let's take a look at an early TRL moment from you guys. Take a look. Right. You guys aren't at number one because NSYNC and the Backstreet Boys are just right there in your way. We gotta yeah. knock them out. Call in. Yeah, there you go. That's what we need. We, we gotta, gotta beat them. We gotta beat them. There you go. Yeah. That's You're gonna be some history right there. If we beat NSYNC and the Backstreet Boys. Yeah. Well, it worked. You finally did get to number one, thanks to all of your, your pleas and, of course, all of your fans. Now, TRL was always sort of a, a melting pot of genres, as is corn. Were, did, were you guys, like, did you hang out with Kid Rock and Limp Bizkit back in the day, like sort of the rock people of the late 90s uh, TRL? Yeah, and that, at that time, for a lot of us, there was a good camaraderie between the rock groups, and we all hung out. It was a really good time for the music. Right. And we had a great time and, and during those times, and TRL was a big part of that. Sure. And you got a solo album coming out in early 09? I do have a solo album coming out early 09. <laughs> I like it. I like it. You're damn right. You're straight. Now, gentlemen, I want to thank you for hanging out with us here today. You folks, let's synchronize our watches. Kid Rock is going to tell us what TRL has done for him in seven minutes. We're going to give Denny a promotion in 16 minutes. We got Snoop, Ludacris, and Nelly performing a medley in 19 minutes. But first, this is one of my favorite moments when I was hosting TRL outside, minding my own business in Times Square. A young rapper just happened to drop by. It was Eminem making his first TRL appearance. Enjoy it. We'll be right back. Talk to my life.